It is estimated that from the country's urban population, only 64% have access to safe and adequate water, while only 30% have access to sanitation. The Ministry of Water, Sanitation and Irrigation is now looking to improve access to these essential lifelines by the end of 2022, with agencies such as the Tana Waterworks in central Kenya at the forefront of these efforts. NTV's Melita Oletengis has that report. Water is the driving force of all nature. Without it, plants wither, animals and humans strain. James Gidinji, a farmer and the chairman of Kyria Rural Water Project in Madeira, Nyeri County, knows this all too well. The project is one of four such initiatives under the improved Madeira Community Water Project that serves a population of 17,000 people here. Wali tusaidia na maapo mingi ya mfereji. Yetu by then ilikuwa mfereji ya samani. Abaye kama hii natumika kwa sewage club wale wase wako wana pesa mingi ya kununua. The farmers in Madeira now utilize the water for domestic use and irrigation. The yields, they say, are rewarding. Now the project hopes to nourish close to 25,000 people. Unajua mtu wa kishiba, the excess which is much, watu wanauza kwa market, kama karatina, gina inaeta hata Nairobi. Kwa hivyo, watu wamepata kasi actually. Huwezi kuputu kukuta watu wanaladarada wa hawa youngsters, kwa hivyo wamepata maji kwa kwa wingi. In Chehe, which is also a part of the Madeira Community Water Project, a 140 million shillings project to lay water pipes is ongoing. The project has created employment for 1,500 people, with 70 million spent on direct labor. The project is 90% complete and is estimated to be up and running in December this year. The beneficiaries do not only get the benefit of clean water for domestic use and irrigation use, but they do get also direct earnings, wages on a day basis to be able to then improve their socioeconomic status. Schools within the community have also benefited from tap water and host huge water tanks that also serve the community. And this water has really helped our children. It has made our environment very enabling for learning. And the cleanliness, the standards are very high. We appreciate. We thank the national government for the provision. The Tana Waterworks Agency also set up hand washing stations at the school to help with the fight against COVID-19. A 500 million shillings Kerugoya Kutu sewerage project is in progress. Another 1.2 billion shillings water project is also expected to slake the thirst of over 350,000 people once complete. 16 projects under the Tana Waterworks Agency are funded by the African Development Bank. Some of the major ones include Isiolo Water Project, Odaya Sewerage Project, Marsabit Sewerage Project, Chogoria Water Supply Project, Chuka Sewerage Project, among others. Urbanization driven by devolution continues to be real. It's become necessary that the major urban centers are all served with working sanitation, sewerage uh, infrastructure systems. And that is why currently we have 39 towns across uh, the country again, all where we are investing in sewerage uh, plants. Apart from the construction of water intakes from streams flowing from the Mount Kenya forest, Water harvesting in the dry areas is key. Walls built around this huge rock collect water that trickles down to the tank below. Every drop of water in the dry season is precious and is hard to come by in such a torrid area. For that reason, it is important to collect water in the rainy days. And this rock catchment and reservoir tank here in Kiaranthi is now acting as a lifeline of sorts for residents here. We have to show the magic of Muto and the position of Riba. We have to show the Chimba Apo. We have to show the Tano Kuenda Chini. We have to show the Tano Kuenda Chini. It's a very needy place. We don't have any other alternative source of water. 
and uh, we decided to construct uh, uh, this rock catchment to harness the rainwater. It is uh, it's assisting the, the neighboring schools and uh, the, the people allowed there. But even with the strides made, there's still a long way to go in achieving water security. The government have competing needs and therefore uh, we may not be able to be allocated all the, all the resources that we require so that we can develop the, uh, the, the water supply. Unregulated abstraction of water could deplete this resource. What we advise them is that we merge all those interquarks to uh, actually to three of them uh, so that uh, uh, they are able to, abs to abstract efficiently. The infrastructure for water supply and irrigation is aimed at nourishing farmlands to boost food security efforts. Milita, Oletenges, NTV.